What is a newspaper? What is its ultimate purpose? The origins of the newspaper are in the Middle Ages. Merchants sent private letters on market conditions to one another. Later, newspapers for the general public emerged, as well as the idea of journalism as a service to readers. Reliable, free communication has gradually become an important part of Finnish society and democracy. The advent of first the radio and then the television began to raise questions about the future of newspapers. In this new situation, however, the popularity of newspapers increased. The media, in fact, complemented each other. In the 1990s, a media revolution began. The internet was becoming more common and various multimedia services became available. At the turn of the millennium, the online services of newspapers had become a significant part of their operation. The year 2006 marked a breakthrough in online social communities and citizen journalism. Blogs, Wikipedia, Google services, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn enjoyed explosive popularity. A drastic change has taken place in how people consume media. Online communities and hectic everyday life limit the time available for traditional media. Media companies, already grappling with a global recession, are facing an unforeseen challenge. Renew or wither away. Where should the newspaper head now? How should it renew itself? Interaction with media users has brought about new developments and new business models in newspapers. The media is taking back its role as a service. The content of the newspaper works in closer cooperation with consumer-generated content. Various communities become more prominent in content production. The importance of locality is increasing and changing. Locality no longer means a geographical position, but increasingly the interests of the reader. Content is targeted to consumers as well as communities, more precisely and more individually. Chargeable content becomes an everyday phenomenon. Well-edited content is experiencing a renaissance. The traditional boundaries between the printed newspaper, the online newspaper and the mobile version disappear. Constantly developing mobile devices are formed into an increasingly versatile channel for consuming content. Readers can customise their newspapers to their interests and influence content through constant interaction. Electronic newspapers are becoming popular. The media is in the middle of what might be the greatest revolution in their history. History, however, has taught us that change means an opportunity and a new chance to meet readers' expectations. Trust must always be earned. The ultimate justification for the existence of the newspaper has not changed over the centuries. The ways of distributing and consuming journalism may change, but the reliability of content and the ability to structure the world around us will always remain key to success. The first newspaper was a lot more than the paper it was printed on. The media of the future will be a lot more than a fibre network and a mobile device. A newspaper is about content.